Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 Grand Final. We started off with a high kick um, and a brilliant kick again, another corner kick from this kick player who's got, he's got quite a lot of value, his Tempasol. Uh, we've got Tempasol and his Dark Elves versus Singolo and his Dwarves. And in the booth with me is the man, the myth, the legend, Faimir. Hello. Hello. Fans of Blood Bowl, here we are, the final, and as a special occasion, this game is not going to be dedicated to a country, I want to dedicate this game to every single one of you, our viewers, because this has been a rough year for, for everybody all over the world, so we want to give you at least some distraction for all the troubles, all the problems, for around one hour or two hours, let's hope it doesn't get longer than that, so you can enjoy and have some fun seeing people trying to get a title that gives no glory. Sorry, that gives glory, but not kebabs. <laughs> Indeed. And James, don't troll. This is live, of course. He doesn't know that Singolo is going to win. Singolo might not win, but he has made two KOs instantly. <laughs> You know, Tempesol has, has been more or less the underdog nearly every single game. Mm. And he has won every single game. I mean, he three does. KOs here, this is not looking good. It's not, but it was a slow, right? And and Tempesol, but this is good luck, Singolo. This is a good shoring up the gap in the team. Lots of people didn't do this against Tempesol. They let him get around the edges, get in behind, whatever. Singolo has, has you know, made this. Okay, maybe he could have had one other player like here. But um, like this guy can move. He's gone up there. So, a bit, you know, he's made it harder to get in between him, hasn't he? So that's that's good. I like that. I mean, it's not really worked. But it's kind of... I like the idea. <laughs> okay. It's, he should have it's just a concept. It's a concept, but there is some gap. Yeah, he should have not blitzed. It look, it was great when he moved these two. If he'd not blitzed and moved here and here, it was great, right? But then what happened was he like he'd made three removals, right? Dude, you've made three KOs, right? <laughs> you don't need to go greed another blitz as well. I think what he should have done is moved these two players back to here. Then he'd have had a lovely solid shape. That would have been really hard to assail, um, not just because of the three KOs. Shit. <laughs> But yeah, I think I think now he has opened himself up because he made that blitz. But I, I love the moving these two back, and I thought he was actually just going to move back with these two. Make a well, the question spin. is, ball is safe right now, mm. and if he tempest will put some player there, <clears throat> the risk is those players also get uh, cast. Yes, because, yeah, I mean that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be like watchman, you know, isn't it, it? I'm not trapped yeah. in here with you. You're trapped in here trapped with, with me. me. <laughs> exactly. So you know, if he goes there, you know, the, the the dwarves can move back and up and just like a mouth devouring the elves. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is what he's doing. I I thought he would. He's a very Thomas T sidestepping kind of fella. He's got lots of sidestep on the team. Um, one eye jump, a couple of guards benching one of the guards. And um, so, yeah, I mean, this is this is huge. Like, you know, if, if he doesn't get murdered, he's going to be in a really good spot. But he's already had three kills, so it's more than likely he gets murdered. But you never know. <laughs> and then, obviously, looking at, continue looking at the teams, which we haven't really... Um, Singolo's team is rather boring, as Faimir said, but it's still super effective, right? Loads of guard, loads of mighty blow, loads of stand firm. Wonderful team. Only 11 players. He's induced Barrick and Boomer for the star players, uh, both dwarves, even though Boomer doesn't look like it, because Cyanide suck. And uh, this is a bit rubbish blitz, wasn't it? Because the push kept him in contact and gives him another hit, but he gets the pow. And uh, this crazy ball carrier who took armor instead of movement. Um, but, you know... The armor has been good for him in his run, getting lightning bolt and stuff. Let's see if the lack of movement or the armor is crucial in the final. It would be great, wouldn't it? Yes, we'll finally get an answer. Also, yes, if I think all of them is very boring because the power is long beards, a runner, and a troll slayer. That's it. There are no blitzers or 
Double, the only one with a special stuff is the runner, which has all the stats and all the doubles of the team. Mm. And it, but it's dwarf, so yeah, they're ultra efficient. Yeah, yeah. who knows how many doubles and stats he rolled that weren't plus strength, <laughs> because he wouldn't have taken any of them. <laughs> yeah. He would have taken strength on the long beard, but yeah, he's not. Yes, extra, take. yes, but any, anything else, no. And the uh, same with the Trulia Slayer. And probably we've been uh, rolling doubles with any of the long beards or uh, that. You don't go for anything. Uh... No. Targets the might. Targets the guard. Defenseless guard. Great, great blitz. Also blitzing unit additional hits. Lovely jubbly. And yeah, while while the split was on, obviously had enough to cage perfectly. So. It's looking real I don't bad. know exactly what's going to be uh, Tempest's uh, game plan. I mean, uh, red dice uphill with the leaper. Try to wrestle uh, the ball. Maybe. I mean, it could easily work. Also, if he gets double pushes, he'll push him into here and then hit him with tackle. That's, that's a bit optimistic, but that's probably what he needs to do, some kind of high rolling, because... He rejected the elf screen. The elf screen is not going to happen. There are too many pieces that close by and in contact of war. So, retreating, uh, making a retreat to do, do an elf screen is going to be very complicated. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is real tough now. Like, he's, you know, you've, you've lost four players in two turns. Do you continue going balls to the walls? The only way you're going to get something out of this half at all, right? With seven players, you can't defend properly. Like, you can't defend convent can't defend conventionally so you've kind of got to go crazy if you want anything to happen so i think he might go for this uh wrestle hit you know i think he might wrestle hits and he works the ag5 pick up the ball and scores yeah yeah he might he might just have to go straight for it and here is the fun part if by any chance a tempestul gets any gets rid of any dwarf Singolo will have to uh, put on the field uh, the one at least one of the stars for the turn eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll make uh, lose a player. So, but obviously that is including the fact that the uh, Tempest will can get rid of one of the wars. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like he might just be trying to defend conventionally. Which maybe he can. Seems a big ask though. Like plus if he fails a blitz they've got to stand firm and tackle so you can't just dodge away in that. Oh yeah, he's just trying to defend normally. This is the problem. Don't get the pow, you don't even get to push him away. Don't get to dodge off him. I don't I think, think he's going to stop him with with this amount of players, to be honest. No. But, but maybe he can get a better chance than an uphill into a triple uphill. <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure the single is going to give him any chance now. I mean, you never know, right? Dwarves are slow. So, like, something might happen and they might... I think it's unlikely. But something might happen. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I don't think it will. Let's see how this uh, turn goes. If he keeps getting, you know, three million uh, cash per turn. <laughs> well, he hasn't got any cash yet, has he? So that that's something. That's something yeah, to maybe uh, temper tempest soul. Is that you know the drive's lost, obviously, but the game is isn't this far from over, right? Um, if he if he can survive this half without any cars, he can make it one one at half time uh, at full time and, and win the toss and win. So. No, I think that the uh, three pushes makes the that piece the target of the blitz. <laughs> 
Yeah, so he hasn't got forward this time. I mean, it's only turn three, but still, he hasn't got forward this turn. <laughs> Not over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> I love that at the fight of every, at the end of every fight in Battle Brothers, you literally have to click it's over. <laughs> oh, well, that's why you like the game, eh? Because <laughs> in that game, things are finally over. <laughs> Yeah, diced, absolutely diced. There is a mistake in Singolo's uh, positioning because if the witch elf blitzes leaping from the empty square between the standard firm and the uh, and the other one in the left side, he can create a chain. That will put at uh, least the ball in contact with one of the side steppers. And if he gets another push, gives him another chain. Mm. So I think that's going to be probably one of the best options that uh, Tempesur has. The problem is, there's just so much guard. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't lead to a lot, does it? <laughs> He's gonna punch. There's just so much guard. Maybe he could try. I oh don't know, he's got to stand firm. Maybe he could have tried chaining something and then. So if this, if these guys didn't all have stand firm, you could have chained him into here, into here, put this guy in, hit him, chained him into there, and then like chained the ball carrier out or something. You know, something like that might have worked, but he's got no players, no guard. And there's loads of stand firm everywhere. So yeah, any, anything exciting chain push wise is going to be difficult to manage. <laughs> well, at least now he has a few uh, free hits that oh, doesn't work. Yeah, Blood Bowl 3 Discord <laughs> says guards over it. <laughs> Elves don't need guard, or well, they sure would like it right now. You eat that? I guess you eat that. You might have to, because they would probably want the one reroll for the one turn. Like, nah, I guess they don't have a one turn against the stand firm. So, maybe you do reroll. Maybe maybe you should just blitz with Zatch 5 and go to Zatch 5 to safety, honestly. Sidestep, so he can he can sidestep away. So here, I would, I, I would have hit with this guy. I guess he hasn't got my eagle. But if you hit with him, you can only sidestep to like somewhere he gets hit again. So you've had more chance of knocking him over. But I guess knocking him down with mighty blow is the most important thing, isn't it? Get the bang out. Is the pow on the witch? No, oh, gets the AV break. Could Only an AV break. Could have had the jump. team is still alive. Yeah. No, proof of the backward sidestep. Yes, Thomas T. <laughs> that was not a Thomas T sidestep. <laughs> Amazing. Away from danger, power. <laughs> Glorious. Oh dear. This is looking pretty brutal. Thanks, Art. <laughs> I, there's definitely more viewers than if I was playing Goblins in CCL.
to be honest. Yes. <laughs> you don't know how, how far the mighty have fallen, Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I heard them is for ring the joy of your existence to ours. <laughs> mm. uh, lots of ads. Let's <laughs> reply to him. Lots. <laughs> lots of adverts. Hello, Skuro. Oh, a score is in the house. School Witnessing so. what could be the end of the Earls, but still, no real damage done, so... Yeah. And there is going to be two KO rolls. Yeah, so it's a bad drive, but it's it's like... looking It's looking bad for the drive, but good for the game, right? Because no one's cast yet in four turns. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a successful drive in a way. Oh God, Taylor! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Oh well, that's the level of this uh, channel uh, now. How oh, truly how the mighty have fallen! Yeah, to, to be fair, I had quite a few viewers on my AFK Minecraft stream. <laughs> that was pretty great. Well, it's in Golo, he's been going with exactly the same tactic. Yeah, no, that's, this is the thing, right? This is why it was so hard to stop him with so few players, because... So yeah, always it's... doing the H cage, the PC H cage. Funny that PC is associated with this cage because you know, with him being an elf coach, the people only recognise Purple Chest as somebody who plays elves continuously and never anything else. Funny that I'd associate this H cage with PC, but I do because it's, he often does this with dwarves. You know, when when sometimes he plays dwarves. And when he does it, obviously it's super strong. The dodging is really difficult. And this is one thing that, like the nerf of Wood Elves in Blood Bowl Three, will be you know like at least you can jump in on a three plus. But now there is a now there is the counterplay to the uh, the Wood Elf leap, which is this kind of cage. And now you know that's gonna really hurt Woody's desperation plays in Blood Bowl Three. Good. It's only a H cage in Fumble. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you haven't missed much, Pedro. Um, Singolo's banged out the uh, elves of Tempasol, and Tempasol hasn't really done a lot. <laughs> yes, I was thinking of an H, but the I see an I there. It's H. Look, oh, right, okay. God, I can't believe you! I can't believe you made me do this. <laughs> there, oh look. no, yeah, yeah, but that's the kind of view that nobody uses. Well, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> oh, Fumble, Fumble! You're talking about Fumble. We're watching the rest of the match in this view. <laughs> well, beats beats the Spanish uh, camera of Gedenik. <laughs> You know, then Pesul trying to run away with some of the players. Yeah, just keep his edge five out of it being hit, his witch out of being hit. <laughs> yeah, Faimir, what, what have you got against the Spanish, Faimir? <laughs> I told I told uh, when he said the Spanish camp and people were wondering what, what kind of it was that. I was one of the times he said I was in chat and I, I instantly knew what he meant with the Spanish uh, cam angle and the Spanish screenshots. It's like yes, yes, and I agree, it's hundred percent true. I have to move to Scotland to be able to be able to do screenshots. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, watching is okay. That it, that was one of the good points about the uh, the Blood Bowl three beta was you know that one of the presets was um, was like something like this, 
Um, and it was actually, it was like actually super good. It was like, it was like, it was, it wasn't like this at all. Like, <laughs> but it was, it was like you can't replicate it. But it was just a really cool angle, but kind of like how FIFA is, you know, like the FIFA angle. Um, and that was pretty cool. But um, it's like that, that, that could be really good watching games like in that view in Blood Bowl three, if you can look at Blood Bowl three without your eyes exploding. Which hopefully. Which can. is supposed to be uh, possible. Yeah, fingers. In the close. next. Uh... Two months and two weeks before launch day. Mm. They are already selling it on <laughs> Steam, so yeah. they better have it ready. <laughs> and like you know, some of the some of the screenshots, it does look a lot better. But then in some of the uh, in some of the other things, you can see that the menus are still the garish red and blue, and looks horrible. So it's not a hundred percent fixed yet. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, Spanish cam, perfect. <laughs> oh, reroll. He gets the push. He's got another chance. Three dice uphill now, though. Okay, there's the score. More than a few. Hmm. Is this baiting uh, for the foul? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Almost got him. Should have taken Mighty Blow on his uh, runner. Can he make a full meat cube here? No, he can't. He's one short. One short of a full meat cube. <laughs> the legendary meat cube. <laughs> Famous in tables all over the wall since the 90s. Now it's like an now it's an Among Us cage. <laughs> when he finishes it, anyway, it'll be like an Among Us cage almost. I think he's just thinking now about this jump up, right? Because he could, he, this guy actually could be pushed into him and then push him out. And then he could get a 1D. Pitchfork cage. Too much Battle Brothers. I finally moved on from Pitchforks in Battle Brothers. Phew. Yeah. So. Oh no, because it's him. So he can leap into here. And he can dodge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you can block him into him, into there, right? And then, okay. and then he can uh, come in to cancel this assist, and then he can one D the ball. Fwa. Oh yeah, just jump up, just jump up here, and then one D and hope for a power. It does sound like shit, yes, Agrelius, but the other option is just lose, isn't it? So. Lose the drive. Not the yeah, game. Yeah, lose the drive, not the game. Oh, the drive has already lost. Yes, yeah. But risking uh, so many good players to get hit back with Mighty Blow in the... I don't know what are the odds of that happening. Okay, it's not happening. Just leaping in. This is. Might as well re-roll it because there's no one turn attempt. Okay. Good, good. KO, good. Getting mm. rid of all the ones and of the KOs now, you know, good. The problem is the Edge 5 is exposed and he is definitely, definitely. Wow! Wrong. Wow! wow. He's getting oh, what served? Up? Is he getting served? No, he can't do it. 
the, the, the witch elf's body stops the getting around. That was a power apple. Yeah, that was interesting because it was 75% of getting back. That was a weird thing. Maybe it was just literally to stop the uh, to stop the blitzer getting surfed. Maybe that's why he uploaded it to keep him on the to keep the witch elf on the pitch to stop the uh, stop the. I think that's a 4D chess uh, level thinking there. Uh, it was an instant power up, so. There wasn't any seconds of thought or anything. Really weird apple, wasn't it? Very strange. Because like now, his only chance is to win in overtime, right? Because he can't one turn. So he's got, like, you know, very unlikely to score two in the second half. So pretty much how he's going to win is by taking it overtime. And he's 75% to get that KO back anyway. That was such a weird apple. Maybe it was a misclick. Maybe it was a misclick. We'll know in due time. In the meantime, how many chaos came back for the elves? Oh, a lot of them. Half of them. No, three of them. No, two, 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 two of them. Two of them because he put the two out of four. Yeah, because of the power apple. The power apple. He only needs one KO to come back to have eleven players for the second half. Yeah. And you know, with a Daka, he's got a very good chance of making it one-one, and then. Uh... And then if he wins the toss with you know half a team, he, he can easily win. So like it's it's very doable still. Exactly. And we've got Daedal as a as a battle bro. Got a glorious Battle Brothers uh, list now that I'm just going to cycle through for uh, everybody who wants to be in the Battle Brothers <laughs> gang. <laughs> yes, Steve Motti, thanks to mention the fact that I sometimes I do my own streaming, not Blood Bowl related. <laughs> it's a uh, Chevalry 2, some uh, proper action face to face medieval style mm. in pure madness. Alessio Mod is one of the few that uh, stays there for more than five minutes. <laughs> I've stayed there for five minutes a couple of times. <laughs> there you go, Jimmy. <laughs> Greatest content creator ever. There. I shall have to get some sound effects from you. <laughs> I want the Elliot sound effect. I'm going to have to make the Elliot sound effect of. Fuck, Jimmy's right, isn't he? Fuck's sake. Why is Jimmy always right? <laughs> Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. Love a bit of Elliot. <laughs> so I guess he's going for a uh, another uh, 2D and then a 3D. I've been being so fucking obsessed with rats that yeah, you're about to go on holiday do, and you and yeah. like, I guess you it's a foul. qualify with the team Doesn't and you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. If both the Chaos come back, he will have an extra player, so... Paul. Yeah, but he's got the reserves, hasn't he? Like, if he, if he, yeah. didn't, if he hadn't got them, then maybe he would have fouled. Like, I was going to foul PC, obviously. I, uh, don't know if you know I am. <laughs> My Amazon's got PC's doors in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though, like how close, like how actually quite close I was to getting to the final, despite going out in the first round. It's funny, isn't it? Well, just uh, one way of uh, looking at it, Jimmy. Mm. Reality, you went, you went, you went sent back in the first round. Yeah. That is the reality. And they're both back, so there you go, full team for the Delves. So oh, here we go, and uh, as they say, many sports comedies, the real game begins now. <laughs> Daka Daka, here I go. I again. think it's gonna be a Daka, yes. So there's gonna be a lot of filler content uh, 
waiting uh, for you here, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I'm rationalizing all my defeats like that. Um, it's just that it's just literally like the draw re would have really opened up nicely for like my actual Amazon team, apart from the first round where I got the literal worst opponent, which was PC. Or I guess Singola would have been just as bad. <laughs> oh, it's true, yes. Ulysses is uh, back here after his uh, 24 hours stream. Cool. Ulysses is famous for having a, being a man that roll plus a strength on a death roller and didn't try to get a strength eight. Didn't what even a, try to get What it. a scumbag. <laughs> Absolute disgusting, and I wanted to mention it here in this YouTube video. It's probably going to be the most viewed YouTube video in Jimmy's last few weeks. <laughs> Which I still think it wouldn't have worked because the strength limit is seven, the same as the agility uh, limit is six. But he didn't even try. He didn't even try. Yeah, is it? Is that? Is that? Is that? Is that a fact? I thought it was nine. I just thought the limit of stats is nine, and even though nobody can get agility seven. Um, I just thought like nine was the max stat. Oh, I, ten. The... I just thought ten was the max stat because move ten, armor ten, right? So I just thought there was just one rule of ten is the max. Ten is the max stat. Have anyone ever seen a strength eight three? <laughs> um, no. Like it could definitely be a thing in Blood Bowl too, but I'm sure in Blood Bowl you can you can get it. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Art. There you go, Art. They, they've got individual to... limits in the new in the new rules in Blood Bowl three. They've got just individual limits for each stat. So like movement nine is the max, and then like there'll be a strength that's the max, and AV, um, agility one plus is the max. So like edge five is the max in in the new in the new rules. Um, but so yeah, that's super interesting, isn't it? Yeah, strength eight the roller. Oh my god. <laughs> One closer to strength nine. Imagine a strength nine roller. Oh, there the absolute are. biggest waste of money ever. <laughs> uh, how much money will Noalius invest on that kind of team? For God's <laughs> sake. You, be, you could be a legend, you know, the man that had the strength nine roller. Mm. Now it's just a guy with a blocker roller. <laughs> and yes, the Daka is uh, happening as predicted because I think any other kind of play could be madness. Yes, yeah, yeah, he got a Daka here. Like, I, I, sorry to keep going on about it, but I wanted to Daka versus PC, but I just thought Zons can't, right? Because they move six and they've got no agility. Whereas Dark Elves are a bit slow, but they've they've got like six move seven, so they're, they're at least they've got a little bit of speed about them. And obviously they've got edge four, even though the tackle count is all of their dodge, they have still got edge four and move seven. So like they're not as bad. They've got this leap, so they. they I guess that maybe that was he wanted the leap on offense, you know, just definitely, and that's why he up, that's why he upload the leap, so that like you know he could always potato with it. Um, but very interesting that he upload that. Yes, I like to know his uh, his reasoning. To see that art, if you want, you know, people to talk about you, you have your own channel. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you have your own channel, you have been there for years now. <laughs> <laughs> or you can join the booth, you can join the booth, you can come here with us. No, I can't actually. I, I, <laughs> because, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, loads of loads of people complained about him when he did the commentary the last time. <laughs> what a legend! What a legend! <laughs> so bad that not even Jimmy's booth will admit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought, you know, I was like, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Which cup though? The World Cup, Artemis? I care, I want Croatia to win. Sreća najveća! <laughs> Jimmy Fan the home of Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate, the greatest chocolate in the world. <laughs> I think it will be great, you know, that a country, a small country like Croatia wins the World Cup. Yeah, they're tiny, aren't they? They're like, I didn't realise they were so small. It's an unbelievably small country. 
They're probably about the size of whales, isn't it? Careful, you're opening the door there, uh, Jimmy. Whales? Let's have a look. The whales population is 3.1 million and Croatia is 3.9 million, so it's pretty close. So it's pretty tiny. In population numbers, yes. Yeah, in population, yeah. Size wise, I have no idea. <laughs> it never <laughs> appeared in the list of countries, so I don't know. Morocco. Well, Morocco doesn't make Jimmy Fantastic chocolate, so fuck Morocco. <laughs> exactly. You you need to bring a, as much a advertisement possible, you know, for your channel. So Croatia, Jimmy Fantastic chocolate, good. <laughs> Can Croatia feel three top tier football teams? Very good, Nolly. Very good. In blitz pit teams, there was about there was about ten top tier blood ball teams from Wits. <laughs> we are approaching that point. Yes, I mean the Dakar is, you know, it's not great, is it? Versus stand mass stand firm and no no dodge re rolls and yeah. Movement seven versus movement four is not movement eight or movement nine versus yeah. movement four. Yeah, that's the thing. But Woody, Woody's could make like even Skaven can make like a big burst, can't they? And high elves can also have you know enough pieces with movement eight. Mm. But this is a very solid wall that the Singolo has created with a stand firm on the sides. Well, it's not, you see, and this is the thing, people say, people love to say this versus anyone competent, but, you know, you try stalling an eight-turn drive versus Singolo, not dackering, right? It's not easy. I love it. I love it when people criticise the dacker, and it's like, dude, take this team and try and stall for eight turns against Singolo without a dacker. It's not fucking easy. You won't do it. <laughs> you will fail. <laughs> so, you know... Like in that in that in that regard, the deck is no really better or worse than any other player because it's yeah it's probably going to fail, but anything's probably going to fail. And Singolo can't pile on there, which is probably breaking his heart, not being able to pile on. Yeah. This is a uh, nine. Adaka is the name of the play that you are seeing by the dark elves here. Is when you run away from your uh, to the bottom of your uh, side of the pitch to neglect getting a hit <laughs> yeah. by the other team and then soon he will try to make a breakthrough you know try to create some space put players there and run away yeah. i mean that's not really a negative out because they're, they're one nil down anyway so General things got removed. Uh, Claw Mighty was nerfed. Planning on's removed, and uh, that's about the only change. I guess passing kind of got removed. Leaping got well, nerfed. Well, uh, the Goblin. Yes, many people will say that movement is better than armor, but here we are. You mm -hmm. know, I think uh, Singolo hated the fact that he had two players with armor eight, make him look weak. <laughs> so now it's only one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, what should get removed? All right, sorry. I just assumed, just assumed you were being sensible. <laughs> yeah. So now the guard can come in, and we can wrestle this guy and scoot down the sideline, or we can uh, blitz him and uh, get a weak dive. That's from. that's what's going to be. That guard there. Throws a clear message. Here comes the wrestle witch. Here comes the pain. Remember, I want to use this time also to mention the fact, absolutely relevant with the game, that I can stand the people that do three aldons. They are annoying. They are always talking about it, talking about their times, about swimming, and going on the bike, and all that. And I don't like them. <laughs> I know it's absolutely random, but I need to say it. 
<laughs> oh dear. He gets the. I love the reroll there. Love the reroll there. If you remember, he had, he had to reroll there. He had to reroll yeah. there because any other uh, result, he doesn't stand firm, and then the witch is in big trouble. Yep. Well, if you remember, uh, what's he called? Uh, Memento Mori um, had a big, big blitz down the sideline that he didn't re-roll and that ultimately ended up costing him, you know, and obviously he might have re-rolled it and still rolled pushes or whatever, but he just needed the knockdown there so badly and uh, I think this is a similar situation where he just, you know, he had to get, he had to, like, you know, he had to make this break this turn, so I like that he put the re-roll in. And now he gonna run away and try to protect the ball. Yes, the unknown player, yes. Oh, Memento Mori is K-Fog. Yeah. I mean, no, he's a mystery player that nobody knows who he is, but yeah, it is K-Fog, yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 yes. I remember, I remember that, yes. Remember any alt account that you don't know the who's the player behind is a store unless the win chalice then it's me. <laughs> oh wow, seventy four percent not very good. Ninety three this season, flip me. You Lost know I remember uh, K Fog saying no I don't have time for this year, I don't time for Blue Gold too, you know, I have to do this. <laughs> 93 games. <laughs> On average 56 minutes. So like that's nearly around 90 hours. Mm. Surprised he didn't try this three plus two plus out. Because like, okay, he's 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 he is occupying this guy, and if he only gets pushes he he occupies another couple or whatever, but three two out there can give you something really good if you get this guy here next turn. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. I mean, I was real. I've been really good, right? To have this guy here. And it's just a three-two. I think he should have tried that. I would have tried it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know why it's so low. Maybe just like played a game and lost, and played a game and lost, and played a game and lost. <laughs> <laughs> like my skiving record's pretty terrible just because I've restarted and restarted and like only had one decent run. Like it's the nature of skiving, isn't it? Is that the early, the first few games are a bit tough, and then once the run gets going, it gets easier. What an absurd statement, Chuga. <laughs> Probably he's blaming while he works or something. Yeah, that's a good point. K Fog's probably playing the Skaven as he's like, you know, multi tabling five poker tables and playing Storybook Brawl and playing Marvel Snap and, uh, you know, doing some astrophysics in his head. <laughs> and, yeah, just and... to feel alive, just to feel alive, you know, like, I think it's this kind of, you know, extra ultra stress. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Zero cast, yes, you are right. Uh, there has not been a, there's been a lot of chaos in the first half, mm. and obviously the Daka has neglected a lot of the hits. See, look how good it would have been. But we are that lineman there. Sorry. <laughs> yes, that lineman there will be a key. But now he can uh, keep moving up. Yeah. Like and uh, Melvino 83, first time chat. Try to find a player that is not found. Good evening, little wrestlers. What okay, can I do Okay, Bob is here. Oh, oh, there you go. How We're talking about this new you? coach called Memento Mori. <laughs> that you acknowledge it was you. Yeah. I think he Don't did. watch the board. I think he did. I think he did. Yes, he said it in uh, Ulysses' uh, chat the other day. Oh, he did an extra 2+. plus. wouldn't have done that. 
has to reroll it. Works. Does that get him away from tackle? Is that yeah, yes, yeah, so that gets him away from tackle. Very scary now with tackle. Gets away with it. Gets the pow. Oh, full pow. Instant full, full pow. Instant full pow. And that gives him a screen, doesn't it? Lovely. Look at the Daka doing wonders versus a good player. Who would have thought it? And he only needed to use one reroll for the block, for the Blitz with the Witch, and one reroll for the GFI. Mm. I think this was a lot more relevant to do this dodge before this one. I hate that. Get this guy up. Like somewhere. Else. Yeah, but the GFI was so that he couldn't get hit by tackle, right, if he failed one of these. I can understand it. Like It's not what I would have done, <laughs> but I can understand it. But he, ro he rolled all the dice, and he's got all that. And like this had to have been the first one, because it was just the most impactful, wasn't it? Do you reckon it's worked, though, Ducky? I don't know. I don't think it has worked, I think. I think that was more important to get this guy out first. I guess maybe this witch. But... The Dakar has worked. Glorious. Dakar wins the day again. Oh, did the armor nine? Is he is he still on the pitch because of the armor? Oh my god! Yeah, the armor nine. Oh my god! And the next well, two the... dice were five five. <laughs> well, the that answers the question. What was uh, better? You know, movement or armor, armor wins. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like the GFI just because other things had to happen to have him give him the chance for the 2 plus 2 plus to hit you. But if the option is do a GFI or get 2 plus 2 plus to get hit by tackle, obviously you have to do the GFI, right? But yeah, I, I don't think you should have done it because it was dependent on his opponent. Like other things going wrong first, I, I really didn't like the uh, GFI. Really didn't like the GFI. But I can understand the logic. Is it logic? The reasoning? Yes. <laughs> not the logic. <laughs> it's not, I wouldn't say it's logical. But I can understand the reasoning. <laughs> oh, look at this. Cheeky. With no tackle on the runner, though, so. You can just run down here, can't you? And, uh... And the Sweet. ball was yeah. away to new pastures. No, yeah, you don't want to go. You don't want to go on the sideline, no. I mean, that was one two plus to get through this safe from tackle, and then if you don't do that GFI, then it's two two plus to get safe from tackle. So I can understand the the logic and the reasoning, but I don't agree with it. But you know, it is what it is. Who can say what's right or what's wrong in yeah. this game anymore? Yeah, six and two threes did, did the job, didn't it? Pros and cons. So you can try and bang out the uh, rope. And this is uh, one that he can't afford to roll. <laughs> yes, he was probably trying to hit the runner because he's the only player yeah. that can uh, hit him. Yep. And uh, also, like, obviously, he doesn't re roll because he's, you know, he wants to win in red time. So. Did Singolo face any claw teams? I feel like he played one. But I could be misremembering. Oh, you can see anyway on the uh, spike. 
Give me a moment. I shall spike it up. Another uh, Akeo. I was to see another thing is the first one in the second half. Mm -hmm. Okay, first round he was K he played Chaos, then Wood Elves, then Underworld, then Bretonians, then Wood Elves, then Dark Elves. So he had a pretty nice draw, but yeah, he had to play Chaos and uh, Underworld. Obviously, Underworld are kind of a core team, but the Chaos were a core team, weren't they, in the first round? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call Underworld a claw team. It's a team that can have claw, but I couldn't yeah. call it a claw team. Yeah, it's like similar to Skaven, isn't it? It's not like it's not like you know, it's not like heavy bash like like uh, like Nurgle or Chaos, which is what like that's what dwarves struggle against, right? They really don't struggle against Underworld or Skaven, even though they can get banged out by them. They don't. They don't suffer in the same way as they do versus Chaos and Nurgle. Uh, Dog to the Dog did have a few claw pumpers, but they're still like not a claw team. And like that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't count them as a claw. Like I wouldn't count Necro as a claw team, and Necro can have two claw pumpers, but they're not like Chaos and Nurgle, and not even Chorfs, right? Even Chorfs aren't really a claw team. To be fair, right, that might have been after Singolo got done with them. <laughs> they might have come in at 2k and just been bodied. Because <laughs> like, it's not too hard for, for dwarves to, to batter Chaos, is it, with a you know, masked mighty blown armor raid? No, okay, he's going for the stall. Necro he's taking risks. Taking risks? Well, not that many risks. He's... One die with a reroll. Yeah, I would go an extra one, right? Because he can get an assist here and make it a 2D, so I think you should go in the corner. You yes, you have side the step. Corner, right? You have side mm. step after all, so... Yeah, I think you have to go in the corner there. This is... Uh... Okay, I guess that's that's making him 4 plus dodge to get the assist in. Imagine if that piece was a blitzer instead of a long beer with a G3. <laughs> we never know, we will never know. This is Tempest Soul's trademark, just leave half his players down <laughs> the field and down don't without them. absolutely forgetting about them, you know, jump up pieces, <laughs> uh, blitzers, you know, just left behind, who cares? <laughs> Oh, he gets the cast. Oh. Well, that, this is an instant up 100% of the time. Yep, and it works. So the first cast proper injury came from the elves. Yeah, on turn 15. On turn 15. Wow. What a game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, what a charmed life Tempest Soul has lived in, in his last two games, right? The uh, the game before him, Cyber Knight made like... 11 cars versus Chunder, and then like he did yes. nothing versus Tempest Soul, and now he's taken nothing versus Singolo. He's got like 10 tackle players. No, 9 tackle players. Loads of mighty blow. It's crazy. Okay, Singolo is going to go for it, no doubt at all. Yeah, I wonder if the 4 2 2 is worth getting two dice or just like do a 1D and reroll the 1D. I don't know what's correct. I mean, the 4 plus is already a 50%, which is 75% that you have to use the roll. The one die with a roll is a 50%. I don't know, I don't know. We need one of those uh, nerds in chat uh, <laughs> to do the numbers. <laughs> I mean, we know 100% that Dio will do the play. <laughs> and whatever the result, it will be in the right choice. <laughs> Here we go, he's going for the 1D. He gets the POW! Oh my oh god! My god. The, <laughs> the, the POW! The cool make Chalice Champion Do, doesn't here. Doesn't get the armor break. 
He gets the ball. Oh, he rolls a one. Oh. Has to do the GF by. Has to. No, oh. oh, he re rolls and gets a one. <laughs> Emotions in the last times. Okay. There are some dice involved. God scatter for him, yeah. Yeah, very good scatter for the dwarves. Nice, no, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three. So it's it's a lot of twos, then a four, then a three, then a two. Or maybe you could bring this guy. No, he can't, can he? One, two, three, four. Oh, he can, yeah. So you could go three, four, and you could just GFI, GFI, pick it up on a three. But then it, the pass would be pretty difficult, right? It'd be like a four plus pass. Oh, it's still probably better, isn't it? It's still it's, probably better to just do this. Artemis guy. makes a good point, you know. Imagine if the rest of the Dark Elf team were there. Mm. Instead of uh, left behind. Yes, he does like doing that. I don't. I don't really like it. Oh, yeah, movement six, yeah! So the armor nine, the reason that he's in this in this drive at all is because of the armor nine, but then the armor seven, the, the move seven cost him. <laughs> oh, oh the lack my of god. Move seven cost him. The, the eternal debate continues. <laughs> we didn't get any clear answer in this game. <laughs> he could have been cast if it wasn't for armor nine. Oh, glorious. Thanks, our Yeti. Thanks, our Yeti. Finally, you know, some recognition. Mm. Wonderful. What a time to be alive. Oh, yes. I mean, roller coaster of emotions. And now I think uh, Tempest will is taking. Obviously, he needs to take all the time he can to play plan the play because this is it all has come to this moment to this turn 16 all the hours invested in teams trying to qualify all the games played all the roles all the games in the cup come to this mm, oh he's going for blitz ah and then that and then yeah that's pretty cool isn't it so now and then he goes for this one and that saves the dodge and makes the pickup and the pass easier. Yeah, I like that actually. I like that. Pretty good play. Pretty good play. Uh, the GFI. So the first two plus fails. Gets okay, the two that plus works. pickup. Gets the pass. Gets the catch. <laughs> oh my god. Tempest Soul delivering. Yeah. Proving that there is a true final boss of season 50. Yeah, what a great play. Rolled all the dice. <laughs> Roll all the dice in the correct order. <laughs> Let me. So now, I mean, it's almost 50 50, right? He's got a full team. Two, one reroll. So, not guaranteed to score if he wins the toss at all. You'd think if Singola wins the toss, obviously he's highly favoured up to win. But you know, still he's still against a full Dark Elf team. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yes, surprisingly enough, uh, the, the Elves have the full team, including the reserve. Yeah. Would you consider not stand firm? Yeah, I thought about that. To be honest, honestly, I was thinking, I, I but I didn't have long to think about it. But I thought to myself, I wonder if you uh, don't stand firm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was interesting. He does still have the stars. Yeah. Yeah, throw a bomb, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. That's what he technically should have done. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's on the hey, Boomer is there. Boomer is there. Uh, so the bomb is foul, happening. Right? A bomb or a foul. He, could have, he should have fielded Boomer as well, right? Uh, Barrick as well, if he's not if he's not going to field him. He should have fouled him as well. 
So you could have thrown a bomb with Boomer and fouled with Barrett. First pylon of the game. None. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Three dice, four, what a professional. Okay, terrible, terrible direction, but hey. Oh, he's got grab, okay, I'll let him off. I'll let him off, he's got grab. <laughs> like, what the hell's he blocked with that guy for? <laughs> he had a grab. And he's even pushed him into a big power, but only could just punch the best game. Absolutely uh, nothing, and I think, yes, here comes the foul from Boomer. Yep. Which, even if it works, doesn't change anything. No. No, it was a completely pointless foul. <laughs> a pointless foul because he has a reserve with guard, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah he definitely had to throw the bomb. Throwing I mean, the bomb he, was the play, 100%. The, the bomb was the play because you can get, you know, at least two players. Yeah, they such five guy maybe. They and there it. are good players. Yeah. Singolo failing to be the banger we all want him to be. <laughs> Oh, he wins the toss, though. But it's not over. Don't say it's over. We could be here for another until the turn 24. Mm. Very exciting. Well, it's not really, is it? Game of football, but it's mildly interesting. <laughs> Not the most boring thing that's happened in my entire life. <laughs> I have seen, I have seen uh, most boring games, much more boring games than this. Yeah, <laughs> and much longer. Oh, glorious! Thanks, we everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we are on uh, the extra in overtime, and it's only been one hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty good. Four, oh, glorious. Gadeenik's a genius, isn't he, with his uh, things? Gadeer cocky as well, by the way. Sorry, I don't know. I, I, fe I feel like I saw you say Gadeer. Oh, just I see my name point. highlighted. Riot. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of difference, but this deep kick could make you know. Will Will Singolo get three KOs again? Will he uh, properly protect the ball and everything? Will we see some Thomas T sidestepping <laughs> from Tempest? <laughs> I can guarantee you that uh, Tempest is going is going to be aggressive. He mm. has to. He can afford this to go to kicks. Yeah, yeah, he's got to win it in normal, like not in all time. He's got to win it in, in overtime, right? He's got to score. He's got to turn over and score. He's got to. Well, his arm is doing better than it did in the first half. Oh, here we go, back to the normal uh, programs, another mm. KO, I mean, Singolo's uh, armor rolls have been meh. Will he pile on? He can't, surely. I don't, I don't think he can afford to do it, but we have seen it. Uh... <laughs> this guy is very weak, isn't he? I think he'll try and go in again. He loves going in. Does uh, does temper so? Oh, was that because of armor seven? It's funny. Look, it says yes. armor eight plus, just like uh, just like Blood Bowl three stat line. I wonder if they thought of that because of the Blood Bowl two video game. Eh? Who knows? And now Tempestul uh, needs to make the decision if he wants to go in now. Mm, it wasn't the previous one, was it? Or uh, give uh, some more time to uh, 
Seven plus. I didn't know how it was going to be done. Because <laughs> he could have had eight plus and then do the seven. You know, like it, so it didn't, it wasn't obvious from the dice log. I, I did see it was a V bust. He's got to go in, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got it. Here we go. Here we go. Balls to the and wall. This, and this looks like a repetition of the first half, but with more elves on the pitch. Yeah. If he powers this guy. Then he's got a 3-2 out with a Lino as well, which is pretty cool. He just got a Blitz of the Witch on. As much as you'd love to hit with a Wrestle, I think you just have to Blitz of the Witch and like rely on the two chances to get him down. Wrestle which build wrestle which, the wrestle which blitz. It's a bit shit, right? Because you've got a two plus off, and you've got to move somebody first. So, yeah, I didn't like I didn't like moving somebody first. That was the that was bad, and obviously the two we got one reroll, and it's just definitely worse wrestle which blitz in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? Apart from the fact it was definitely worse. <laughs> With the, which blitz uh, did you want to make then? This the block one just blitzes, and the, like, obviously it's harder to get the knockdown, but at least you're not just losing one in six times. Do you know what I mean? Like you fail that dodge, it's shit, isn't it? Because you can't re-roll it, so you've got less chance of just absolute failure, and then it also means you've got this guy to react as well, and so this guy could be like here or whatever, instead of just here. Though this isn't too bad, I guess he's, he's one for one him out. I thought he'd leave him there, I don't know if that's correct. Maybe it is. That's nice, isn't it, getting the push into these? And now getting the extra free hits. Might move the ball first, yeah. Chain the sidestepper, or is it just gonna not? It's closing the holes to avoid the sidestepper to do anything fancy. No, he just goes. He just goes for this. I'm not sure I like just leaving the two the, the uphill. I, I think I would have hit with this guy and then you could have pushed him into the sidestep and obviously the sidestep could have gone somewhere else but at least you're not just giving the instant 2D uphill which isn't even that bad at odds for him. <laughs> or maybe a surf. Is there a surf on? Is There's maybe a surf on. Cool with Oma, there's uh, two red dice to get one die. Well, you could chain, you could chain him in. Uh, you could put a player here. You can block him and then chain the ball out that way. Oh man, what a player this will be! He's rolled a score. Oh, he's re-rolled it. He's down on re-roll. This could this could be the play here. Okay, he's got the guard in there, so that would be a one D. 
But that 1D, chain him to there, and then dodge him out, and this Witch Elf can like leap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, surf him. Oh, what a play that would be. What a play, guys. <laughs> Will we see it? Will uh, Tempesul uh, see it? I can might not go for it, like it's not that good. But it would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> what uh, other options he has? That's the problem, isn't it? But you know, now, now that singola has got down to one reroll, maybe he might reassess the equity. And think maybe he can stall this out conventionally. Like he's still got a team, right? He's still got ten players in the field. But Singolo is up to halfway, but he's on one side, so maybe he can thinks he can hem him in. A lot to think about. He, he might just try and defend normally. And try to reach uh, kicks mm. with just a fifty percent. I don't know. That doesn't seem to be the ten peso that uh, <laughs> we know. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. Instant one in nine. He might have been going for that play as well, because that's how you could start that playoff, right? See if you power that guy. And if you power that guy, maybe you go for the surf. So he could have been thinking about the surf. Or he could have just been playing normally, but that was a brutal, brutal one in nine first action. Flip me. Yes, Steve. Thanks. Thanks for that reminder. <laughs> oh, has anyone uh, lost in kicks uh, been to uh, Rudolph's app? <laughs> but uh, no, I mean it wasn't just that. It's just the fact that like Singola's down to one. Like he, he can get into trouble on his offense because he's only got one reroll. Right? It's not not about the kicks. Just like with with one reroll. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone for it. Look, he's gone for it. Ah, oh, he's failed. I mean, this is the problem with going for it, is that if it fails, you completely expose and lose. But he did go for it, he did go for the, the chain surf, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool player. And, you know, maybe that was his thinking, maybe he just can't defend conventionally, so... I've had to risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, the Besule, if in, uh, the surf wasn't your plan, now it is. Always say yes, I was going for the surf. Oh, it definitely was. It was 100%. He went for the cool play, and it, it could have been the right play, you know, it could have been the right play. Because, yeah, he could have, like, hit things and tried to get in the way a bit, but it's hard, right? It's, especially after you, you lose your last reroll. It's just like, against all that tackle, it's just it's so easy to just roll a one and stuff, isn't it? And get into trouble. Yes, that's the... The problem, but uh, single only has one roll and still needs to do more than a few dice rolls. Yep. Anything but, can happen. Yeah. Don't say it's over. But uh, one in uh, 36. I mean, if you cancel after using the reroll, you're still going to have zero rerolls anyway. And at some point, you are going to have to try to make a play like that. Yeah, that's the so, problem. So, once problem. you start, you are completely invested. Yeah. yeah, he was super unlucky to just use the reroll on the instant on one and nine. It was like, there was, there was like the safest way of starting it, and like, it wasn't a point of no return, but it still almost was just like the fact you've only got one reroll. So, yeah, I think, I think you probably just committed to it. If you go for it. Yeah. Yes, if you use the reroll, that's it. You have to keep going with the whole play. Okay. Well, the Wrestle Witch can leap in for an uphill again. And that's about his only play. <laughs> More or less, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are relying on the magic. Uh, no, D2, D2, there is no price, only glory, no kebabs. <laughs> yeah, correct. Glory yeah. doesn't buy you kebabs. Well, 
if Singolo wins, wins a streamer, there is a good chances that he gets more subscribers or uh, oh. Oh, it's not going for the uh, leap sack. Very interesting. I really thought he'd have just blocked this guy and then, you know, I guess he's going to stand firm, but still, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh hit him. Like, I know it's terrible, but what else are you going to do? Oh, yeah, there's the fan favourite skill, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true, true. Whoever uh, wins for uh, the team in the next season that he plays, one of his players gets fan favourite. There is a one plus to the fame. Mm. And of course, science or science. Oh yes, a science, <laughs> science, science, uh, science, or uh... or purples, <laughs> or purples, the in-game currency, <laughs> whichever one it is. I think it might have been a more interesting overtime if the Delves had won the toss, but then on the other hand they might have just quick scored and it might have been over him. So who knows? Well, yeah. I can't complain much about that. Yeah, they didn't really get close to the, the dwarves, did they? They did try that they did try that kind of cool surf play, so that, that was something. Yeah, it's not over. And he's 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 got the whoa. He's got the yeah, he's got the leap in uphill chance this turn. It could work. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Oh, that troll slayer will never level for the open league. <laughs> for the open ladder. Pretty incredible though, if Singola wins this after like not making any cars in the entire game. That's kind of unbelievable, isn't it? Incredible. Makes the uh, power up, you know, one of the best uh, decisions ever made in a blue gold pitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, a quarter of the time it was a great decision. But now, with our hindsight uh, glasses on, we can see, you know, that the equity of the play, future equity, was uh, immense. <laughs> but of course, if he hadn't appoed that, he could have appoed the Blitzer who got removed on turn one of the of overtime, and then that might be more impactful. But um, yeah, like that was a thing. Three times out of four, he was getting the Wish Elf back anyway. And that seemed that seemed like a really bad apo. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I'm still. I'm. My verdict is still terrible. <laughs> like I get that he really wanted the leap on offense I guess but still it's like I think when you you're expecting to take more cars and stuff like more removals I think you've got to uh, suck up the 3 out of 4 uh, KO returned just you know try and be a bit greedy because you Pretty far behind. Now it's clear that the Tempesul is preparing the play. Yep, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Two in, three uphill. He's got him! He's got him! Oh my god. Things are gonna happen. Oh, diced. Wait, why did he choose the wrestle instead of the dodge? It wasn't dodge, it was just a full power. Ah, it was a full power. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, he got him. Hmm. Unfortunately, he needed a better scout than this, didn't he? The Forgotten Witch uh, comes back into action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
just imagine, you know, if he hadn't forgot half of his team half of the time. <laughs> It's unfortunate that the miracle play worked and it doesn't even help him that much, isn't it? Yeah, that's the problem, Minty, isn't it? It doesn't really... It doesn't really help him that much. No, not much. Uh, because if Tempesul uh, can't afford to go for the ball. The good news is that the uh, Singolo can't score this turn. Mm. Well, can't score with a runner this turn. He could try a four plus hand off GFI. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. He can score with a runner, yes. But he can with a. <laughs> some um, interesting plays. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm going to roll more dice as well. It's... Wait, there we go. The complete uh, death. First Kaz on turn 22. <laughs> Whoa, what a game. <laughs> By the doors, for the doors. The elves got the first one in uh, turn 15. Yeah. yeah crazy, that. It's not going anywhere. Is going to give him another shot at the red dice. Mm. I mean, it's very unlikely, to be fair, and it's two into three, so it's super unlikely. But if he used jump up, is not the blitz. True. True. To foul. He needs the armor break. He's got a got more than enough. Yep. And with these two there, it doesn't matter if either gets powered. It's still a bit of a cage, but I mean, I guess you've still got to go for it uphill. This guy and then dodging for an uphill. Could even maybe dodge this guy through and then dodge him in and then get a 1B. I don't know, but it looks over. But it's not over, don't say it's over. He will have a last bad chance, not a chance. Yeah, probably Team Antilla, probably. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It wouldn't be the first time we have seen that on Chalice. But I think Singolo will remember to score. Yeah. Getting five L's goals so would be enough. I don't think so. And yeah, the disconnects a much better strategy. Yeah, wait for a power cut in Russia or uh, something like that. <laughs> He's going for it. No, 
that was nice. Isn't it? You're gonna try and chain him, chain in him into chain. the uh, uphill. And that's it. Yep. Yep, no With dice that, rolls required. No dice rolls required, yes. Uh, writing chat, you know, great game, all that. Oh, not even that, yes. Uh, not even that. Uh, straight in into the thing like that. And Singolo wins. Chalice. And I think it's the second or the third time that Singolo wins. Yeah, it could be the third time. It, he's definitely won it at least once before. This could be his third win. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And Singolo beat the final boss of season 50 to reach the trophy, an imaginary trophy. Yeah. Wow, an imaginary trophy. Well, 26 armor wrecks. <laughs> that was a lot to say that he didn't remove that many people, did he? Uh, like, no, you know, no, he didn't. He, he didn't. Kills and they were... in the first half, but after that, yeah, like I mean, nine kills in total. But there were, there were those instant, like the three kills off the LOS, like obviously decided the first drive. But yeah, obviously loads and loads of stuns. So I guess that made it really difficult for Tempest. So to get twenty-six much armor wrecks in fifty-seven uh, blocks. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> makes you know very, very efficient at uh, breaking armor. Yeah. But uh, the gross and injuries, but wow, I didn't expect the numbers to be that high. No. It didn't, fa it didn't feel like it was that high. No, it didn't, did it? The, certainly anyway. the dodges for Tempest Soul were pretty good. They, 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 uh, they felt like that. 89% <laughs> dodges. A lovely bit of dodging. And uh, yeah, great effort from Tempest Soul. Did some really nice plays. Tried some things to... Uh, you know, beat the odds, but obviously the, the dwarves were pretty favourite, right? With all that mighty blow and stand firm and, and guard, it was and tackle, it was pretty brutal. Um, so yeah, congratulations to Singolo. Commiserations, Tempest Soul. Thank you so much for having me. As always, glorious having you in the booth. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I hope everyone at least had a good time watching this. And uh, this time, you know, they were entertained enough to forget about problems and situations around the world. Anyway, we'll be back for the next season Glorious. with more games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> a game played, a game with literally dozens of different players. Dozens, dozens, <laughs> literally dozens of different coaches will fight again for the title <laughs> soon. Yeah. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>